In this video, we're going to talk about automating workflows with Varseek and its new capability called VS Pipeline. Whenever you're in an environment where you have to repeat the same workflow multiple times, Varseek is a great tool because it's built from the ground up to allow you to define workflows and then run those repeatedly for each batch. Here's how the standard procedure works. You first create a project, we're calling this the design project, in which you define everything about your workflow. This includes defining the annotations you're going to include, their specific versions, etc., the filters, all the parameters that are tuned to your own secondary pipeline and the own information about your assay that you're setting up for a specific workflow. And then when all of those are set, including all of the things about which fields you want to display and, and all the preferences that help you streamline your interpretation, you save that project as what's called a project template. Now when you receive new data at any time in the future, whether it's a single sample or a batch of samples, you create a new project with that template and import that data. All of those steps from your workflow are then run, and then you can go through each sample one by one, doing your own interpretation, helping to generate the report or whatever it may be, often running exports, being able to save to Excel, to VCF, etc. These steps in blue can now be automated with VS Pipeline. VS Pipeline, in its simplest form, is about running that step of taking a template and building a project and being able to automate the input of data into that project and the export of data from that project. And just in the ability to create these projects automatically as part of your existing automated pipeline um, has been a strong motivator for building VS Pipeline. So this includes everything about your workflow, your annotations, your filter chain, all of the information about your tables. You might have one or more variant tables, gene tables. And as I will talk about in a second, you can open any of these projects in our free Varseek Viewer, which is a viewer mode of Varseek that can read projects that have already been created by a fully licensed copy of Varseek or Varseek Pipeline. Being able to great get these uh, beautiful customized and hyperlinked Excel spreadsheets is a powerful deliverable in which you may actually not use the project after that point, just simply pass that spreadsheet along or in combination with the project. Core Labs may also want to be able to get to annotated text files, VCF files, be able to have a combination of shortlist outputs as well as expanded outputs, being able to pass these projects on to researchers um, who might have their own licenses of RSeq or might just be using it in the viewer only, read only mode to get to their own, uh, own choices of what they want to export so they can investigate any of these filters and run their own exports. Finally, the ability to have all these steps automated simplifies the process of putting this in a CAP or CLIA certified environment, and these automated steps help reduce human error, improve efficiency, and as always, everything in Varseek is logged. So all of these steps will be logged in detail that are performed. You get to know which version of your template you used, which version of every annotation source, etc. A note on Varseek Viewer. So Varseek Viewer is a free reader of Varseek projects. This allows you to view all of those filters that have been created by the project designer. You can use visualization just like any other Varseek uh, in, in Varseek's standard license mode. You can add BAM files and view those BAM files alongside the VCFs to have that read level evidence, taking um, beautiful exported screenshots of those visualizations. You can also run your own exports uh, and share that project and it's a very efficient and uh, it preserves everything that was used to annotate is copied into that project. It's a self-hosting folder that can be relocated. Essentially everything about that project is, is a great place to go and, and, and come back to it at any time. The only thing that the viewer doesn't allow you to do is perform new analysis or create new projects. Let's see how Varseek pipeline looks in a demo run. Now I'm going to run this demo on my Windows machine just using a standard console here. 
but you could also be running this and often are running this in a Linux environment as part of a series of steps executed by a automated secondary analysis pipeline. So right after the VCF files are created, you might run VS Pipeline to run these types of steps or more. Uh, VS Pipeline is in my path so I can run it with a dash H to see its commands. You can actually run it in an interactive shell mode or you can run commands such as the help command here and that will give you a sense of how many commands we have available. Um, and we're going to run it in batch mode by running a batch file, this demo.vs batch. Before I run that, I'll give you a sense of what this does. Demo.vs batch is just a series of commands in Varseek Pipeline's command syntax. Um, all this is documented in our manual, but it's a very simple uh, and easy to pick up in terms of the syntax here. You can see we have a command to create a project. The important thing here is we get to define that workflow. This is the tumor normal custom workflow that I defined. Import some files and we'll see can these VCF files are in the folder of this current directory. Um, and it also has a sample mapping information. In this case, I'm importing three tumor normal pairs. So this sample info maps the tumors to their normals. And then we're going to export an Excel file and a VCF file for each of the tumors in our project. So in this directory is our VCF files. Don't worry if your VCF files are not uh, compressed and indexed. We do that for you automatically. And this sample info defines the matching between the tumors and the normals. If I was running a family-based workflow, I would define matching between children and their parents, etc., etc. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to run VS Pipeline over here in this batch mode running with this file. And then we're going to watch the files get created as it goes. So the first thing it's doing is creating a project, and there's that project folder. The second thing it's doing after that is filling it in with all those VCFs. And that's done, and now it's exporting these files. So the first thing to notice is we have these great deliverables, these three tumor-based sample Excel files. These are filtered down based on my workflow, and I have all these great hyperlinks, uh, information about the variants, the gene, their effect, um, HGVS notation, information from Cosmic. You can click on these things like these hyperlinks, brings you right to the Cosmic IDs, etc. We have outputs in VCF file format of the same types of variants. And this is the project that you can send as a deliverable. If I open it up using Varseek, it just pops on open. This project has been fully run, so it immediately loads. These are the same five variants we were looking at in the Excel file. Now we have the interactive project view, where I can add visualizations from Genome Browse, looking at these variants one by one. I could also export a different set of variants, such as this full set of unfiltered variants, run my own exports to Excel, and this is all what's doable inside the Varseek viewer. All right. So that is Varseek Pipeline, Automation of Workflows of Varseek. To find out more, you can go to our website and feel free to contact us to set up an evaluation to see how this would work in your own environment automating your own workflows.